Green residences. I have a flash drive with recordings of every single mob conversation I ever had. And it's like having your very own genie in a bottle. Both broke protocol in a deadly hostage situation. Your reinstatement and your probation are on hold. You serious? Hello, Max. Who's this? My husband. Want anyone? It's a long flight back from Buenos Aires. I'm good, thanks. So, how do you two know each other? We're partners. We work together. What line of work are you in? I'm a detective. Really? Really? You work with the police. I've been consulting with them as a condition of my probation. I have so many questions, I'm practically vibrating. Hmm. What do you do? Nothing as exciting as that. I mainly watch over my investments at this point. What investments would those be? Like this house, for instance. Mm. I've had a lot of overseas business to attend to, which is why Max and I haven't seen each other in a while. It's getting late. I'm sure you two have a lot of catching up to do. No, yes, we, we don't. do. Good night. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wait. <laughs> Can we pick this up tomorrow? We have a lot to talk about. You don't owe me anything, Max. Actually, I owe you my life. I'm just doing my job. Look, you gonna be okay? Don't worry about me. Just take care of your ribs. Good night. I like him. He seems nice. Should I be offended that you didn't tell him we're married? Should I be offended that you ran off two years ago? Max, I didn't run off. You literally ran off. Not from you, from the law. And then you left my father holding the bag. I do feel bad about that. But we all know the risks. How's George? Twice the man you are. Let's have a seat. We could talk about it. I'd rather not. Max, you stole four mansions out from under me. Can you imagine my surprise when my financial advisor told me about this? Now, I'm not giving them up, but I'm curious as to how you pulled it off. It's amazing the paperwork you can forge when you're still legally married. Oh, and by the way, there may be some bank managers who think you're in a coma. How much did you get for them? Sold them to myself for $1 a piece. Tomorrow, we are going to the banks, and you're going to sign them back over. I don't think so. You stole them for a reason. What, you wanted my attention? You got it. Why am I here? I have a job. A big one. And you're gonna help me pull it off. So let me get this straight. You want me to help you pull off a job? One more for old time's sake. Sounds intriguing and somewhat suspicious. I think I'm hurt. No offense, darling, but why the hell should I trust you, let alone help you? Because I'm prepared to sell you back your houses for $2 a piece. That way I double my investment. If you're willing to part ways with all those properties, it must be a pretty big job. It is. So what do you say? Tell me more. Not until you tell me you're on board. Uh -huh. So you don't trust me now? Only if you tell me you're on board. Touche. Two dollars per property. Cross my heart. That's assuming you have one. You know what? Forget it. I was crazy to think we could work together again. I come back home and my mansions are in your name. You're working with the police. How do I know you're not setting me up? Like, if you're not interested, I'll just find somebody else who wants to make a cool 10 million. Out of all the nefarious circles you run in, why me? Because as much as I hate to admit it, you're the best. No argument there. Is that the only reason why you want me back? Look, I've had a long day and all I want to do is get into a hot shower and get into bed. No, oh, darling. Alone. I booked you into the Region Hotel downtown. Under the name Mr. Haas and Pfeffer de Quad. Nice. Till then. Well? Game on.
Okay, come on. Hey, Rachel, look, it's me. I need a favor. I need you to run a photo for me. Good morning. Good morning. What do you want me to see? All that electricity right there is enough to power a small city. We went through hell yesterday. All you're seeing there is fatigue. And that, right there, that's not a moment. Like I said, that was yesterday. So nothing's changed. Full speed ahead. All business. How's the setup going? Checked in, double checked, good to go. Escape route? Jets confirmed. I decided to go with the Lear this time. Ooh, a classic. Mm -hmm. Onboard chef? Mm-hmm. And the bubbly will be on ice. What would I do without you? Don't even. God, I'm gonna miss this place. Can't we keep at least one mansion? We need a clean getaway. But don't worry, if all things work out, you'll be able to buy two or three of these on your own. Then let the magic begin. <laughs> I've laid your clothes out for the day. There's just one stop I need to make first. You don't have to do any of this. Yes, I do. Not if it's only for me. It's for us. Is it? The last time we got involved with Olivier, Dad, I... I was stupid. You were in love, honey. I'm not letting you spend another five years in here. It's not so bad. I'm making friends, catching up on my reading. Dad, what is going on with you? You know I've been working on this for over a year. But you've got a second chance now, honey. Your probation is almost over, and if this thing goes wrong, it would kill me if you ended up in here, too. Don't worry. I've got everything worked out. All the angles. You can't prepare enough to cover all the angles. I think you're forgetting our insurance policy. The flash drive? Dad, there's hours of audio on there. Ricky's still putting it through a transcription program, but from the conversations I've heard so far, we have enough to put the mob and several crooked politicians away for a very long time. So if you need it, that flash drive would guarantee you're in Ricky's safe passage out of the country. Either way, the next time you hear from me, I'll no, be- No, 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 don't tell me. I can't know. Listen, once it's over, you can't contact me at all. Just promise me you'll disappear. It's the only way you'll stay safe. I promise. Time's up, George. See you on the other side, kiddo. I love you, Pops. I love you too, honey. Hey, any luck? Hey, I only have a second. You've seen this guy in person? Yeah, I took the photo. And he's in town now? According to him, he got in yesterday. Did you get any hits? So you've spoken to this guy? Yes, Rach, I took the photo, okay? Can you tell me who he is already? I have to run into a meeting with my boss, but I sent you an encrypted file. And Cole, why do I get the feeling this might involve Max? Look, I'll call you later, okay? Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I had a husband. Oh, it's okay. I'm sure you just forgot, right? I was planning on telling you at some point. That you were married or that he's an international thief? Wow. Someone's been busy. I got Rachel to send me his file. You went to Rachel about this? I needed somebody who was going to tell me the truth. <sighs> Look, you heard chiefly yesterday. We're on thin ice. Can you tell me what's going on? I have a plan that will help us both out. If you'll just let me explain. Let's hear it. My office. Now. Perfect.
Commissioner Russo, it's been too long. How have you been? Busy. So let's cut to the chase. What's all this about? Ask your partner. She's the one who requested this meeting. Didn't know there was a meeting. Apparently there's a lot I don't know. I have a full plate today. We've got five minutes. I'll be brief. That would be a welcome change. I've been approached by a former colleague of mine. And by colleague? She means husband. Didn't know you were married. It's something I'd like to forget myself. His name is Olivier LaRoche. On the surface, a wealthy investor. And beneath the surface. I just learned that the feds have deemed him a person of interest, connecting him to several high-profile heists, but they've never been able to prove it. He never leaves a trace and disappears for months at a time. That's how he got his nickname, the Phantom. And your husband is this Phantom. You can imagine how shocked I was when I found out. Right, yeah. Anyways, he's back in town and planning on stealing an item worth $33 million. And he wants me to help him. What? Obviously, you turned him down. On the contrary, I agreed to the job. You what? And you're all gonna help me. You want the police to help you and your husband, an internationally renowned thief, steal something worth 33 million bucks? The Imperial Egg. Pure gold encrusted with precious gems once owned by Russian royalty. Imperial egg. Isn't that what your dad got thrown in jail for trying to steal? Olivier planned the whole operation and caught my father into helping him. When things went sideways, he bolted and left my dad holding the bag. Now he's back for a second try. Exactly. Why would he come to you? Because I have a very particular skill set. And why are you bringing this to us? Because I still work for you, don't I? This is your chance to bring down a notorious international thief who has eluded Interpol for years. That would be quite the feather in your cap. And this is all just to satisfy your sense of justice, I'm assuming. Nothing at all in it for yourself, right? Well, funny, you should mention that. Uh, here we go. This is your chance to right an egregious wrong. My poor father has been rotting away in prison for years. The only thing he's guilty of is trusting too much. He was conned by Olivier, and believe me, we've both been paying the price. I need to make some calls. You too. Wait outside. <clears throat> You look mad. You went over my head and the chief's head and then called in the commissioner to talk about a husband I didn't know existed and a heist you never even mentioned to me. Says the guy who talked to Rachel behind my back. I shouldn't have to call Rachel because she's not my partner. You are. Look, why didn't you come to me with this stuff? A heads up would have been really nice. I had no idea he was gonna show up. Oh, save it. All this talk about us being partners, we're not partners. This was all to get something for yourself, wasn't it? To get even with Olivier? And what about you? I've been a pain in your ass since the beginning. The only reason you agreed to this partnership was to get off your tugboat and back on a desk. If we pull this off, we'll both get what we want, and we can be on our way. Just like you said to me on day one. Ms. Mitchell, can you say you have a plan? Let's hear it. The mark. Jeremiah Graves. Aside from owning three islands and half of Manhattan, Jeremiah has a thing for rare antiquities. And two years ago, he purchased the Imperial Egg for a cool 33 million. It's a one of a kind piece that only a select few will actually get to see in person. Why? Yeah, I've read about this Graves guy. Every time he spends an obscene amount of money on something, he throws a party to show it off to a small select group of people. And he locks it up in storage and nobody ever sees it again. Museums hate him. So Graves is throwing a party to show off the egg. In two days. And you've got an invitation. Not me, exactly. Olivier. Him and Jeremiah run in the same very exclusive circles. As does the mayor. Him and his wife have also been invited. We've been assigned their security detail. I know, and that's where you come in. Security is gonna be posted at all entry points. The perimeter of the house and right here on the roof. And what's this right here? That's where I'll be, at the entrance with the metal detectors. I got myself assigned to the mayor's security detail. You're a cop. Remind me again why I should trust you. I'm sure you've done your research on me. Oh, of course I have. Well, then you'll know I got busted for drugs in my car about a year ago. It's not my first rodeo, all right? Just got a little sloppy. It's not gonna happen this time. Besides, 10 mil? I can leave this whole cop thing behind and start over. You just better be as good as Max says you are. Are we done? Good. 
The police are gonna sweep the house the night before the event. That's when I'll smuggle in anything that we need for the job. I'm calling it Operation Egg Salad. I bring snacks. And right on cue, Ricky is on cameras. He'll tap into Graves' security feed from a catering van stationed right outside the house. That way I can track your progress and black out the CCTV. Now all this just gets us inside the house. That's the easy part. Until he's ready to show the egg, it'll remain in Graves' vault, located off his bedroom on the second floor. And that's where Olivier comes in. Not yet. But the hallway and the primary bedroom have a weight-sensitive alarm system. When Graves wakes up in the morning and sets foot on the floor, it registers his weight for a 24-hour period. Within a one-pound tolerance, any other weight results in an alarm that activates in 10 seconds. So no one other than Graves can get into his bedroom without setting off an alarm. Exactly. It's ingenious. So how do you plan on getting past it? The day of the party, we're going to have to find out Graves' exact weight and replicate it. Once we clear the first floor sensors, then what? Then you make your way to Graves' bedroom. On the wall is a painting. Behind it, a Gavalbi vault. It's a thing of beauty. Three numbered dials that must be turned in a specific and complex sequence. It's like the Enigma code of combination locks. Yeah, they say it's uncrackable. Only been cracked once by me. So that's what you're bringing to the party. And once you're inside, you'll swipe the Imperial egg and go back the way you came. Then you'll head downstairs. I'll be waiting for you. You hand it off to me. Ellis will then walk it outside to me. And then you'll rejoin the party as if nothing happened. At least, that's a story we'll tell Olivier. In reality, when Olivier comes down with the egg, that's when you're going to arrest him. My pleasure. And then I'll turn to him and say something clever like, the Phantom has been exterminated. If you help us catch the Phantom in the act, and if we can connect him to the previous attempt on the egg, I'll see to it that your father's prison term is reduced. Reduced? I'm handing you an international criminal. It's the only offer on the table, and it's contingent on Detective Ellis being with you every step of the way. You deviate from the agreed palm plan so much as a hair's breadth, and you will be charged with every law you broke over the last two months, and you'll never get your desk back. Sounds like a plan. Anyone want to go over it one more time? Not me. I'm still deciding between outfits. And this mustache isn't going to trim itself. Darling, <gasps> gentlemen. We're ready. I guess that's a good night, then. I guess it is. Go, both of you. You need your beauty sleep. Good night, Max. Do you need a lift? I'm good. Thanks. Nice work back there. Olivier definitely bought the whole crooked cop thing. When pulling a con, you never lie. You just tell a slightly different version of the truth. At least I know the truth. Speaking of the truth, there's something I can't stop thinking about. Ronnie's egg rolls? There's no way that George would have tried to steal the Imperial egg without you. So what really happened? Olivier was unlike anyone I'd ever met. I knew a lot of con artists, but he was on another level. It was like meeting James Bond. So you two fell in love? He swept me off my feet. He wanted to bring me into his world. You have to understand my dad and I were good, but we only did low profile jobs. My dad's rule was never be greedy. You go too big and that's when you get caught. So what happened? My dad always said to never trust anyone outside the family, but Olivier had pulled some of the biggest jobs of all time and he wanted to do one with me. And that made you feel special. I talked my dad into it. I convinced him that doing this job with Olivier would take us to the next level. But George was the one that got caught. My dad's in prison because of me. Well, Max, life has consequences, all right? If you break the law, you go to jail. You lie to somebody, you break their trust. That's how it works. But this is my chance to fix the past. I know you understand what that means. No, this is nothing like what happened with my brother because I can't fix that. He's gone. But I know you would do anything to find his killer. And I'm just trying to do the same for my dad. How about we make a deal? 
We go in together one last time as a team. Me to get my dad out, and you to get your desk back. Look, if this is some kind of game, you're crossing me, I will hunt you down and I will arrest you like I would anybody. I'd expect nothing less. Check one, two, everybody here? Loud and clear. Yep, I got you. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> raise your arms, ma'am. Oh, I'll raise anything you want. But won't my gold bracelet set off the alarms? Not if it's real gold. Well, of course it is. At least that's what my lover told me. I guess it's telling the truth. <laughs> Hands up. I should hope so. It's my money. All right, clear. Enjoy. All right, arms up, sir. I give up. You got me, officer. Are yeah, you clear, ma'am? Hey, you're clear. Come on, darling. Were you doing the British this time? That's how Grace knows me. You would just be your charming self. <laughs> Olivier LaRage. We've got an intimate and impressive group tonight. I handpicked them all. So glad you could make it. I came so close last time, Jeremiah. I wouldn't miss it for the world. What happened last time? Jeremiah Graves, meet my wife, Max Keeley. Last time, someone tried to steal my imperial egg. And they almost got it. But the thief is in jail. All is good in the world. We've never been to this house before. Oh, we've had it in the family for years. We used to summer here as kids, before Dad made the real money. Mm, so nice you kept it in the family. I'm sentimental, too. To be continued, Max Keatley. We're on the clock. One hour until your once-in-a-lifetime viewing of my imperial egg, after which dinner will be served. Mayor Steve, I had my chef prepare that acai bowl you love so much. Oh, well, at least somebody still believes that we're married. Not too bright, that one. He wouldn't know the difference between a real thing and a fake if it bit him in the acai. Are you? Thank you. Remind you of anything? Sardinia. Greatest night of my life. Olivier, not now. Can you remove your earpiece? Give us some privacy. No. <sighs> I'm sorry about the way we left things. I didn't leave anything. You have a right to be angry. Hurt? Abandoned? Devastated? And then angry? But I never meant to hurt you. You think I just came back for the egg? No, you came back because I grabbed all your houses. I know you. You believe in second chances. Isn't that what this whole arrangement is with your cop? Meeting you in Sardinia was the greatest night of my life. Running away was the worst. I was wrong. I was completely, utterly, absolutely wrong. I don't want to spend the rest of my life making it up to you. That's why I came back. How are we doing, Ricky? The house is ours. I'll shut the cameras down once the Easter egg hunt begins. Detective Ellis, you're up. On it. All right, listen up. This is Ellis. I need graves at my 20 ASAP. This better be important. We 
We may have a potential security breach, sir. Take a look. He's on the scale. We need to keep him there for 10 seconds. This needs a passcode. It's an uh, imperial egg. As you can see, the motion detectors were set off in the northeast quadrant. Then we started hearing shrieking sounds. Those are my peacocks, Higgs and Boson. And they're in heat, so uh, I wouldn't go near them. Operation Peacock successful. Good work, champ. Never be too careful, right, sir? Well, weight confirmed. Graves is 175. So you're going to need to put on some weight, Olivier. So, you and Max, how long have you two been consulting? Step on the scale. What do you think is going to happen after this job? What do you mean? I saw the way you looked at her. What do you think is going to happen? You two are just going to sail off into the sunset. I'm here to do a job and take my cut. Same as you. Don't kid yourself. Max needs the adrenaline. The adventure. She's not going to give that up for someone like you. Sorry to break things up, you handsome devils. You're still short three pounds, Olivier. Anyone have a burrito? That should do. How's that? And we have a winner. Olivier, you're ready for the second floor. I envy you. Why is that? Because you get to witness me do the impossible. Thank you all for coming. I thought I had some graves. And before I begin, I need to let you all know that you've been the victim of a crime. You were robbed of the opportunity to experience this two years ago. That's why I invited you all back today for a glimpse of the Imperial Egg. Alexander III sealed a white South Sea Pearl inside as a token of his eternal love for his partner in life. Approaching the second floor. And here we go. Houston, we have liftoff. A small step for Olivier, but a giant payout for the rest of us. The pearl is what makes the Imperial Egg priceless. And that's why this house had a cutting edge security system designed for me personally. It was a damn good system, but I knew I could do better. Because that's what I do, make things better. I decided to go galactic on the vault door. Last week, I swapped out the original door for an electromagnetic locking system and a digital key. You see this watch? It's linked to a satellite that sends a random code every five minutes. And the vault will only open when it senses that code. And this watch, it vibrates every time it resets to let me know. Pretty cool, huh? Came up with the idea myself. Olivia, did you hear that? I sure did. Without that wash, no one's getting in this vault. Not even me. Max, you said you had this all sorted. I had no idea he changed the locking mechanism. Anybody got a plan B? Nobody panic. If we don't fix this, we get nothing. Well, I'm not staying here. Wait, I'll fix this, okay? Trust me. What are you doing, Max? <laughs> Max, what are you doing? <sighs> you got a little bit of champers right here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I bet I know your secret. And what would that be? Generational wealth. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to join me? We could spill drinks on each other. I'd love to. I just have to, you know. Oh, yes, sir. Down the hall to your left. To be continued. Yes. All right, I have to watch. You can't see me right now, Buttercup, but I am crying 24 karat tears of joy. Well, don't spike the ball just yet. We need to get the watch back for the vault code resets. If it isn't back on Graves' wrist. He'll notice when it's not vibrating. All right, Olivia, come to you. All right, Olivia, you got two minutes. not working. Guys, what's going on? Give it a few seconds. They have to mate. Let them have their fun. Good. All right, coming to you, Max. 
I'm in. Too much bubbly, I guess. Guess what, people? Time for the great unveiling. Okay, the party is on its way. Do you have it? I have it. I'm in position and ready for the handoff. On my way. Olivier? Olivier, where are you? I don't see him. Son of a... Ellis, do you see him? Don't move. I knew you'd come after me. Take out your earpiece and drop it. Turn around slowly. 3D printed, no metal. You know, Max said you try to betray her again and run off with the egg? All is fair in love and war. You're not gonna shoot me. Look, you're a hell of a thief, but you're not a killer. And that gunshot's gonna send all the security guards out of here in seconds, so how about we do this the smart way? What do you propose? Well, I can have every cop in the city hunting you down, or I can give you a clean getaway. I'm guessing that doesn't come free. What do you want? 15 to 30 would be really nice. I don't get it. Why are you smiling? Oh, just my two detective friends running out fast behind you. You really think I'll fall for that? Freeze! Drop the gun! Hand it over. Looks like the yoke's on you. Yeah, I get it. So this is all a setup. Two years of planning and waiting. But this moment made it all worth it, darling. Revenge is a hollow victory. And yet it feels so sweet. I think this calls for a celebration. Cole Ellis, I am proud to approve your reinstatement to full detective status. You're back on the force. I'm back at your desk. Thank you. Both of you. Gotta love a happy ending. Speaking of, do me next. As we agreed, you're officially off probation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were able to match Olivier's DNA with samples from previously unsolved heists, including the one your father was involved in. Which means? As promised, his sentence has been commuted to one year. I could have swore I heard you say six months. One year. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I can't say it hasn't been interesting having you around. Stop it. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> but all things must come to an end. Enjoy your freedom. And you, get those reports on my desk by noon tomorrow. Yes, sir. What do you say? I buy you a beer like old times. <sighs> I'd love to, but I really gotta finish the reports. Rain check? Absolutely. You gonna finish that? Uh, no. It's all yours. Thank That's you. fine. Come on. Grab the bottle. <laughs> so, what's next for you, I mean? Probably take a cruise. Cruise? Really? Yeah. Ricky loves them, plus someone needs to save him from the midnight all-you-can-eat taco bar. You gonna send me photos? Not on your life. Thank you. Seriously, I will cry. I mean it. I have my doubts about you, but, uh... Who could blame you? You always have my back. I always will, partner. Thank Take you. care. <laughs> yeah.
Tell Mark I'm gonna miss him. I think he's really gonna miss you too. Just heard the news. Nice caller. <laughs> Thanks. Congrats on getting your desk. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back. the difference between the real thing and the fake if it bit him in the ass IE. But won't my gold bracelet set off the alarm? Not if it's real gold. Uh, Lear needs to be wheels up in 45 minutes. Yep, I'm almost packed. God, I wish I could have seen the look on Olivier's face. He must have been so pissed off. <laughs> <sighs> Poor dude thought we double-crossed him. Yeah, can you imagine how angry he'd be if he knew he had been triple-crossed? <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Ricky. You are the wind beneath my wings. Oh, anything for you and George. It's hard to believe this journey started over a year ago. And with this new system, we can install a pressure-sensitive floor that'll be calibrated to your weight daily. And what about the vault room? triple-plated titanium with a three-dial combination locking mechanism as intricate as any Swiss watch. And you can do all this within the existing structure of my home? I will need to knock out a few walls, but I promise you in the end it'll be worth it. You bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. So what's my access point? I'll build you a hidden panel inside a main floor closet. At the party, you'll sneak inside. Then you'll retrieve the fake egg I'll plant there. Then you'll climb up to the next level, and at that point, you'll be right under the vault. Don't feel bad about deceiving Alice. You got him everything he wanted. I know, but lying is no way to say goodbye. I got something that might take the sting off that. What are you talking about? Don't hate me. Ricky? A couple days ago, when I was finishing transcribing all those conversations from the flash drive. I'm counting on that leverage in case we need help getting out of the country. That's all good. But I, I did hear something that you'll be interested in. You waited until now to tell me because... You've been planning this heist for two years. You wanted to nail Olivier, and I didn't want to throw you off your game. It involves Ellis. Alexander III sealed a white South Sea pearl inside. I bring snacks. Uh, 
Max? 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 Buried our rings in a box of her. Damn you, Max. I'd do it over again for what it's worth. City lights like forest eyes. Gave up sleeping when you gave up trying. Came through heaven to get this burn And I'd do it over again For what it's worth Hey The hell are you doing here? Thought you'd be halfway around the world by now I have something I need to tell you Save it I already know You just used me to get the real egg Okay, technically that may be true. No, it is true. I trusted you, Max. You just... You just betrayed me. I'm sorry. Look, I said if you crossed me, I was gonna arrest you. You did say that, and you can. But please, hear me out first. No. No, I'm done listening. I don't even know who you are anymore. In fact, give me one reason why I should believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. Because I know who killed your brother.